These are my Premier League predictions for game week 8, that is match day 8, the betting tips and predictions of the Premier League matches. From Luton vs Tottenham to Arsenal vs Manchester City, the biggest game of the season so far, the biggest game of the weekend before we finally get into the boring international break. So ensure that you enjoy the video because I have ensured it's properly and accurately and entertaining. Luton vs Tottenham game is going to be our first match that we are analyzing. But before that, I want you to go ahead and smash the like button. We are trying to attain 2,500 likes today and I hope that we are able to record that amazing record over here at the Must Better Betting Tips YouTube channel. We are also trying to get 100,000... 100,000 subscribers before the year end. So I welcome you to subscribe and join the amazing members of the Mass Better Sports Lovers, Football Lovers, England Premier League Lovers. Luton vs Tottenham is our first game. You must realize that Luton vs Tottenham, there has been over 2.5 goals scored in the last four matches by Tottenham. And then if you look at Luton at home, when they are playing at home, they have the ability to score goals. They are able to to get a goal. So I think that this is going to be a, low, a high scoring match where both teams have the capability of scoring. So I'm giving Luton one goal, Tottenham two goals, and I fancy Son to be able to score a goal too. My betting tip is going to be a Tottenham victory. <laughs> Burnley vs Chelsea comes up next. We must realize that the history between Burnley vs Chelsea favors Chelsea. And you must realize that Chelsea have won their last five away matches against Burnley. And then if you look at home this season, Burnley are yet to record a victory or get a point. So it's going to be very complicated for them to go ahead and shine against Chelsea. But Chelsea have also not been performing amazingly well until recently when they were able to record their victory. I fancy a low scoring match in this one and I think it's going to be ending in a draw of 0-0. My betting tip is an under 2.5 goals. <laughs> We have Everton vs Bournemouth coming up next. In the Everton vs Bournemouth game, I see that Bournemouth are coming into this game with a series of draws and a series of losses occurring consecutively. Everton at home looks better placed, positioned to go ahead and get a victory here. So I'm betting on Everton to get two goals and Bournemouth one goal. The betting tip is over 1.5 goals. <laughs> We have Fulham vs Sheffield coming up next. Sheffield coming to this game, failing to win their last three matches. And they, remember they're coming from this one, 8-0 loss away, 2-0 loss away. So they've been losing terribly coming to this particular match. Then Fulham at home, we must realize that they have not been consistent. And I don't think they are going to be getting the ability to shine over the Sheffield side that many people are shining against currently. So I think it's also going to be a low-scoring game, and a draw is highly probable, 1-1 one, one draw. The betting tip is going to be under 2.5 goals under both teams to score. I really think Sheffield are going to shine, and at least they'll get a goal in this particular game. That is why the betting tip is under 2.5 goals under both teams to score. <laughs> Then we have Manchester United vs Brighton coming up next. In this game, this is a game in which Manchester United seeks to redeem themselves if they really want to be on the good side of their fans, on the good side of history. Because if Manchester United goes ahead and lose this particular game again, things are not going to be easier for them. It's going to be a more complicated situation on the Manchester United camp. So they're really going to have to fight and struggle to be able to win against a side like Brighton. And we must also realize that Manchester United currently, they are having a lot of injuries to deal with. But apart from that, I really think due to the home factor and due to the urgency of winning in this particular game, they will do their very best to be able to get two goals. And I think the scoreline is going to be Manchester United 2 and Brighton 1. The betting tip is a Man United victory. We have Crystal Palace vs Forest coming up next. This is also going to be a tight match. A draw seems to be very, very likely. And it has also been a popular outcome between these two sides. Crystal Palace vs Forest. The last time they played, the game ended with a draw of 1-1. So in this particular game, I also think that Palace, playing at home, they have a slight advantage and a draw being the original outcome that I was thinking of, might also be able to be the outcome. So I'm giving 
Crystal Palace, one goal ahead to win with one goal. That is Crystal Palace, two goals, and Forest, one goal. The betting tip is going to be a Crystal Palace win or a draw to a car. Before I mention the last three matches, ensure that you are subscribed and turn on notifications. And if you are liking the value, please allow us attain 2,500 likes. Brighton vs Liverpool coming up next is our next game. In the Brighton vs Liverpool game, I must mention that as a Liverpool fan, I think that this is going to be the season in which we're going to fight again. We are going to be in the race to win the title. So I don't see any reason why we are supposed to be losing this particular game. And apart from that, I must also mention that the way we have been performing and playing in the last few matches is a clear indication that we got the quality needed to win, except for the few red guards uh, and the players that are going to be missing in this particular game. But that being said, you must also realize that Brighton coming into this game, they are coming into this game without three ma three they're coming to this game the last three matches played none of them has ended in a victory none of them has ended in a victory so maybe they don't have that particular morale to go ahead and beat a liverpool side that was still able to perform perfectly well against a side like tottenham with nine players so it's going to be an amazing amazing match over here it's going to be a tight one for liverpool to win it's going to be interesting game I think we are going to be winning slightly. Liverpool one goal, Brighton zero goal, and the betting tip is under 3.5 goals. My best. I love this betting market, the best one for this weekend. And then we have West Ham versus Newcastle coming up next. Newcastle performance this season has been amazing, you know. Ever since the season started, they began well, then they kind of disappeared. But after thrashing and smashing PSG 4-1, to one, I think that Newcastle that we are aware of is back into track and they are going to be winning in this particular game. West Ham at home are also not bad. West Ham this season have also been scoring and recording amazing results. So this is going to be a high-scoring game in which both teams are supposed to be scoring and the number of goals are supposed to be more than three. My scoreline is going to be West Ham 2 goals, Newcastle 3 goals. My betting opinion is over 3.5 goals to be recorded in this particular game and a Newcastle victory. And then we have Wolves versus Aston Villa. That is Wolhampton versus Aston Villa. We have seen that lots of goals have been... A lot of goals are supposed to be expected in this particular match because both teams currently are in a position to score and both teams should be able to score in this particular game. I think Wolves are going to be getting one goal, Aston Villa two goals, and the betting tip is over 2.5 goals. <laughs> then we have Arsenal versus Manchester City coming up finally. The biggest game of the weekend, the biggest game of the season. It's going to determine how the season is going to be ending, setting the tempo, disrupting the momentum if Arsenal goes ahead and wins. City has been dominating the Premier League, the Premier League winning back to back. It's time Arsenal does us the favor. It's time Arsenal does all the other clubs a favor so that we can actually set it ample, you know, an ample playground. So even if City is going to be winning, let them win in the final match day or in the final game of the season but not this time like they won the other one so manchester city currently are having a lot of trouble on their camp a lot of players missing and it's gonna be a difficult one for them to be able to shine against an arsenal side who are undefeated in their last eight premier league matches this season if you look at this game you must also realize that if you go through the head-to-head -head statistics we are having a scenario where Manchester City are undefeated in their last nine matches where they played Arsenal. So it's going to be a very, very complicated match. If you are to go with the statistics, then basically you will say that City is the better team and they deserve to win. But if you are to go with the, what is currently occurring this season at this particular moment, then Arsenal deserves to walk away the three points. If the likes of Wolves can be able to do it, if the likes of then Arsenal can also go ahead and win and get the three points. So I'm backing an Arsenal victory. Arsenal 2, Manchester City, one goal. And my betting tip is going to be an over 2.5 goals recorded in this match. So those were my predictions for England Premier League Game Week 8. Let me know in the comment section what your predictions are. And drop 
your betting tips for all the eight matches in the comment section. If you found value, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. I hope to see you when the international break is over with Game Week 9 England Premier League predictions and betting tips. Until next time, long live the must betters.